so this is the poster. The poster is married, five years, no children. And this is another female perspective, and I know I have the best female voice on the show to read this female perspective. Oh, God. <laughs> so! I'm reading it in the female perspective, so don't laugh at me because this is not comedic relief. This is reality. So, I have some baggage. <laughs> Stop it. I need to read this seriously. You guys need to calm the fuck down. This is for our podcast listeners, and I'm a voice actor. No, because no, I'll read it. You have a girl on a panel. Why Calm would... down, because my com- I can't move my computer. Okay. Yeah, my so, wife said she's down. Just to, just for a check out the me. Com- to me, just check out the comments. All right, so here's another scenario. So, I have some baggage. First and foremost, I was the oldest of five, and my Take mom. The camera off me. <laughs> yeah, can you put the camera on somebody else while I'm reading this? No, I feel so I, I dirty. I think you should leave it on Tom. I feel so dirty while he's saying it. <laughs> You guys aren't going to let me read this, are you? No, no, no. Just read this is normal. me being a voice I actor. I can't take you It makes me feel so like dirty when you read that show voice so I can read this. Voice. All right, I'll try again. It makes okay. me feel like there should be two men. Let me start from the top. <laughs> you guys are assholes. Okay. This is theater of the mind. I need to set the scene. Oh, it's back on me again. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look at tomato face over here. I know, that's me. I got this big red spot on my face. Yeah, yeah, it's called right. your face. All right, so uh, let me read this in a very serious <laughs> manner. Michael, seriously, okay. not in a woman's voice, please. No, it's got to be in a woman's voice. <laughs> oh You've God. already set the scene. You set the stage. Now you got it. You, you said voice actor, right? You guys are cock blocking the show right now. I can't help it. All right. So, I have some baggage. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Please keep going. First and foremost, I was the oldest of five, and my mom was an abusive alcoholic. I can still hear it. Dad wasn't in the picture. I was forced to raise my younger siblings as a result, and I hated it. You sound like the girl from the act. <laughs> I really had no childhood and went back to college in my late 20s because I never had the chance to focus on on myself and what I needed. As a result, I really cannot stand children until the age of about 14. I can't stand their shrieks, their erratic movements, their whining, their sticky hands, their drool. I can go on and on. I just can't stand them. Can, can I stop this right here for just a few yeah, seconds? Yeah, you can it stop it. Like, I feel like we're on a dirty version of Sesame Street. I, I, I literally can't I, pay attention I because can't, I can't. Part, I can't get past you and the chick voice. I'm trying to read this so people can relate to it in a female manner. You know what's way worse? Stop. You know what's on the panel. You know what's way worse? You can't, when you can't, it's like a, being a blind person when your hearing goes up when you take the vision away. Okay. It's, it was way worse. All right, let me get back to this very Can seriously. Okay, wait, no, 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 this no, is part wait, of the no, story. Okay. You I need can, to be professional. I can't even listen to the story because okay, all wait. I hear is this now, out now, of my husband's mouth. Now I want you to start over in your regular masculine yes, voice. Yes, please. I literally cannot handle you right now. I can't even pay attention. As a result, I really cannot stand children until the age of about 14. I can't stand their shrieks, their erratic movements, their whining, their sticky hands, their drool. I can go on and on. My husband and I are both childless, and we're happy that way. Two years ago, my husband's brother and sister, fucking bitch, started popping out children nearly at the same time, like she was dispensing Skittles out of vagina. He now has a niece and a nephew, both under two years old. They live about 30 minutes away. My husband wants his sister and her baby to come over to our house during the day. Because my husband works from home. He's such a, he's such a gentle man. He really is. <laughs> he's making eye contact. <laughs> With me. So my husband wants my niece. Feel bad. My husband wants his nieces and nephews to come over to the house so they can have lunch or walks together. He has to stay at our house in order to work. But they like the idea of spending an hour together in the middle of the day while my sister-in-law plays with her babies for two to three hours. I really don't feel comfortable with this, and I have told him that. There's something, something deeply uncomfortable. You married him. Yeah, easy. There's I something. I can't even play the game. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up, bitch. I'm talking. Oh. That was a girl for that was the You're girl. You're just trying to take the attention off me, you fucking attention whore. <laughs> you can't even get mad at him. 
Because it was in women's voice. I was still going to fuck you up later. Oh I was going to fuck you, bitch. He said it in a woman's voice. This is like a role play. So when he shows up with a skirt later. Hush, Steph and Mr. Blackman. I have, I have words to say. You don't want to hear the woman's voice. I really don't feel comfortable with this. And I've told him so. There's something deeply uncomfortable with Mary having... Marianne says you sound like Minnie Mouse. Well, that's okay. You're right. There is something deeply uncomfortable about this. <laughs> I really don't feel comfortable with this. And I've, I've told him this. Me either. There's something deeply uncomfortable with having young children in my living space, even when I'm not there. I would hate coming home to the smell of diapers or baby food or spit up. We're fighting because my husband thinks I'm being unreasonable to ban all children from our home, even when I'm not home. I think it's it's our shared home. I should get a say on which guests can enter. Am I an asshole? I don't fucking know because I couldn't understand a fucking word. Because I couldn't get out of my head of your little squeaky little. You're not even talking voice. in your mic. I all right, don't so, care. So basically, what you're saying is this bitch hates kids. This bitch hates kids, and she doesn't want them in her house. Her, she's an asshole. Even when she's not home. Even when she's not home. Asshole. Even when she's not home, she doesn't want her husband inviting <laughs> his, whatever, sister's kids into the house. Is she she's an, an asshole. asshole? Yes, you are an asshole for reading asshole. It in that voice. <laughs> oh, was that the Tom question? Has tears. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's an asshole. She's an I asshole. I think so. Oh. That's her husband's family. That's her niece. Yeah, it's her. It's yeah, but, well, yeah, her but she doesn't married. want to smell the she's smell married. of diapers at her home. She does, or spit up or anything. Is that because she, she's she an asshole? My no, the reason is, she, why she doesn't want kids there is because when she, she was young, she had to take care of her five siblings. So what? She's so she an asshole. Have babies. That's the real question. So no, deep, they have no kids. There's some deep-seated no issues. There. Yeah, because she doesn't she can't want have kids. <laughs> no, she doesn't want kids. No, she wants kids, but she can't have them. So it sucks when her. Husband's Chris in the, Chris in the comments said Jake just found a loophole to call Missy a whore. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. So everybody agrees she's you an said asshole. That in man voice. Uh, well, my it. bad. Call Missy a whore. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Tried to help you. Down the rabbit hole with idiots. Well, after this, I shall think nothing of, fall of falling down the stairs.